Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akin, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akin, uh, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say, uh, shout to you, I came out there, Shabbat Shalom. And this is a quick sit down lesson on this uh, May the 15th, 2.32 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday afternoon. And the title of this sit down lesson is going to be today on the Shabbat. Um, though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 21. In verse 21, in the book of Proverbs, verse 3, Though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Right, The seed of the righteous is the sons of Jacob, which is the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, and the speckled bird, as right as well, too, through the four corners of the globe. That's out there rehearsing the righteous acts, out there on the highways and byways, learning, continuing through the Holy Scriptures, and uh, pro prophesying uh, the the righteous, correct way through the Holy Scriptures, through the prophecies, through the Spirit, Power, Grace, and Mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, and the wicked is the wicked seed, the Zidumians, you know, because, you know, Jake love to join hand in hand with their enemy, you know. That's why it says, no hand join, no hand join the hand, the wicked should not be unpunished, right? So the wicked is going to be punished. Uh, physical Satan and spiritual Satan as well, too. You know, the ultimate deceiver, which is the, these Idomians, you know. Like uh, I just did in my previous video, you know, the devil should come down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. That's why he coming down with great wrath, you know. That's why these Idomians... Uh, is gonna be uh, punished, you know. That's why I says the wicked should not be unpunished. They are gonna be unpunished, so they're not gonna be unpunished, so they're gonna be punished, you know, when that time comes, you know. With the uh, traffic, you know, with the uh, wrath of Yahweh Basham El Shai, you know. This is the book of Proverbs, precept, Proverbs 16 and 5. And it says, Everyone that is proud in, in heart is an abomination to the Lord, though hand you in the hand, he should not be unpunished. Right? Because uh, Heavenly Father is not dealing with the proud person. You know, they not dealing with, the Heavenly Father is not dealing with the proud person that, in heart. Your heart, which is your mind, you know. You know, Heavenly Father is not dealing with a high minded, uh, proud, haughty spirit. You know, the Heavenly Father is not dealing with that. Because scripture says the meek shall inherit the earth. You know, the uh, meek, which is the Israelites, that's out there prophesying uh, meekness, humbleness, and sincerity through the four corners of the globe, which is the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. Through the four corners of the globe, they have that uh, meekness, humbling spirit, you know, truthfully and sincerely, you know. Because the Heavenly Father's not dealing with a proud person, you know. He's not dealing with a proud Idumians, you know. He's not dealing with proud Israelites. He just he's dealing with humbling Israelites, you know. Because the Heavenly Father's not dealing with a proud, arrogant, haughty person, you know. He's not dealing with that. He's dealing with people people of his own race, meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, you know. Like the scripture says, I roughly paraphrase, prior go before destruction, you know. And the haughty spirit is a fall to them, you know. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 112, verse 1 through verse 2. And the book of Psalms, chapter 112. And the book of Psalms, of the verse 112. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that diligently greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. Generation of the upright shall be blessed, right? Generation of the upright. 
you know, because Israel been rebellious from generations on down, from our ancestors, forefathers, until now, you know. So, as long as we continue to fear the Lord, and, you know, that's why it says, Praise ye the Lord, and blesses the man that feareth the Lord, right? Blesses the man that feareth the Lord, which is the sons of Jacob, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled birds, like as well, too, you know? And that we diligently seek to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, to the best of our ability, you know, because even though we can't keep all 613 laws, you know, but we keep the laws, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, you know. And as long as we continue to uh, fear the Lord and praise him, you know, and diligently continue to uh, keep the laws, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, you know, and we should be fine, you know. Through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hawaii, I was shot. So with that, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hawaii, I was shot. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bakarkadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom on to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say uh, shalom and a ball, ball. Uh, Shabbat shalom too.